started recording. Welcome to Caddy. My name is Carter Venable and I am the researcher. I'm David Mims and I'm the manager. I'm Deirdre Edmonds and I was the tester. I'm Enon Ismailov and I was the analyst. I'm Zachariah Meddy and I was the editor slash repo master. Caddy is an internship matching application meant to benefit job seekers and recruiters alike by alleviating some of the disadvantages associated with the traditional employment process. I'm sure you've heard the saying that recruiters spend only six seconds looking at a typical resume. With Caddy, we wanted to take this statistic and create a mobile solution that is fast, convenient, and maximizes user productivity with our like to match feature on something called cards. Cards hold a small amount of information pertaining to the user of that card. It is deliberate that only a select portion of information is available to the recruiter on the student specifically. The card of the student is meant to encompass those seconds that a recruiter would typically spend looking at their resume. So traditionally, a job seeker would submit a paper or electronic application to an organization in hopes of an interview or just a simple callback. Hiring managers sort through tons of applications and resumes to find a few potential employees to interview. As a job seeker, you want an application that allows you to quickly share the most important information to recruiters and optimally, you want to apply to jobs where you have the best chance at receiving a response. For recruiters or hiring managers, you want applicants that best suit the job position you're looking to fill. Caddy's solution is to show recruiters and job seekers the most pertinent information concerning that applicant or job position within the card and then allow users to quickly like a card to match. And now on to David about the technology we used. So for the technologies we used, we uh, used Android Studio as our development environment, and then we used Firebase Cloud Firestore as our database, and Java was our primary programming language. Uh, originally, we, we tried using both real-time database and Cloud Firestore uh, simultaneously, but we ended up later opting to solely use Cloud Firestore because the real-time database did not have the database um, structure that we wanted. Um, additionally, uh, Cloud Firestore allowed us to conveniently use collections, documents, and unique user, user IDs to retrieve uh, from the database, whereas with the real-time database, uh, we would have had to use JSON code in order to store everything. Uh, so throughout our application, we used fragments, and uh, to further explain what they are, a good way to think of it would be to imagine that you have your desktop home screen. It is where your wallpaper is located and forms to work alongside your desktop screen. Now, imagine you then swap out that background with something else. For example, another picture. That new picture can add additional functionality to your desktop by searching or, for example, our cards that have students and postings within them. That desktop wallpaper is the fragment and your desktop itself is the activity that holds the wallpaper or quote unquote wallpaper. This is seen in the navigation bar that we will be that we will use throughout our demo. When the navigation bar is open and a new page selected, the page currently being viewed is swapped out with a newly selected fragment, which is the page, which is a new page. This allows easy navigation between pages and a more straightforward way of adding slash editing the navigation menu. And now for our demo portion, we're going to be having two phones here. Uh, the one on the left is going to be Anon the recruiter who is a uh, Google recruiter who's looking for a entry level Java, Java developer here in Columbia. Uh, whereas the phone on the right is gonna be me, David, uh, the student who is a entry level Java developer who's looking for a uh, internship here in Columbia. Uh, and now Anon's gonna explain the profile creation. All right, so once you create your profile, you're greeted by this edit account page, and uh, this will already pre-populate the fields which you have entered in the previous page. Uh, however, you will need to add a company name. So as a recruiter, you do work for a company, Google in this case, and the industry, we're just gonna put uh, software. And then once you do that, uh, because you are a recruiter, you can create postings. So every posting here has a title. So we're going to do entry level Java developer. This is going to be a full time position. The location is going to be Columbia, South Carolina. And the description is going to be, well, I guess what the job title is, an entry level Java developer. Company is going to be Google. And we will save our changes. 
Now off to Carter for the cards. So David's going to go ahead and log in to view the internships that have been posted by recruiters. And here we will see those internships displayed in the form of a card. Now a card shows the title of the internship, the company, the location of the internship, the type, and a short description. At the bottom of the card, we'll see three buttons, an X, a star, and a check mark. The X button is used to dislike an internship. This will get rid of the card from the user's queue and will make the card disappear. So David's going to go ahead and dislike this first internship. And we'll see that the card disappears. The next button is the star button. This button is used for favoriting. Um, if a user wants to favor an internship so that they're able to view it later on to decide whether whether they would like to dislike it or like it, they can hit the favorite button and then choose the hamburger menu. And from here, David can choose his favorites page to view the internship that he's favorited. If he would like to remove it from his favorites page, he can just simply click the favorite button again and the internship will disappear. So after David has removed that internship from his favorite screen, we can see that Enon the recruiter has liked David's card. On David's phone, we're going to go back to the home screen. And David's going to scroll to the internship that Enon has posted because he wants to like that internship. He'll hit the like button. And we'll see that a match has occurred. From here, David can click the hamburger button at the top and go and see the matches that he's made. And from here, he'll see that he has matched with Enon and see that this internship is a new match for him. Now that Enon has matched, he's now able to message with Enon. And from here, we'll go to David to explain uh, We'll go to David to explain messaging. And so now in order for us to do messaging between Anon and David, we'll have them both go to the hamburger menus and navigate to the messages or messaging. And so as you can see there on the left, we have Anon. It says student matches. So this will list all the names of the students that he currently has matches with. You can go ahead and click on David there. And that'll bring up an empty chat box. Um, we can also then have David click on the internship title um, so that he can then start chatting with them. We'll click on that. And then now uh, David and Anon can talk uh, between each other. Uh, so he can just say, or I can just say, hey, and it'll show up over there. And then Anon can say, hey, or something like that, and it'll show up over there. And so now we have it to where once they are matched, uh, it'll then show up for the other person within their messaging um, screen and they'll be able to talk to each other. And now on to Zach to talk about searching. All right, hey, I'm Zach and we're gonna click the hamburger button so we can move over to the search feature. Now the search functionality is a perfect feature for students looking to narrow down their internship search. Students can narrow down the search by searching for either a specific company or a specific company location. For this example, David is first going to search for the company Google in the top search bar. Once he types it in, he can hit search and see the results. Afterwards, David can then search for a company by location. Since he's in Columbia, he can type in Columbia or an abbreviation of that and then hit search to see the results. The search feature is a great way for students to narrow down their results and find internships that are even more applicable to them. Now on to Aubrey with the help page. The help page explains the major functionalities and features of the app for the users to see and understand. It remains always accessible through the menu, so if any user has a question on how the app works, they can look here. And with that, thank you so much for watching our demo. We hope you enjoyed watching and enjoy using Caddy. Thank you.